morning, everybody. Welcome back to Lone Oak Farm on this cloudy, overcast uh, day we are having. Now, approach mid-autumn here, and Susie Cream Trees and Happy are here at the farm early this morning. Well, not real early, 8, 10, not too bad. Um, but we have got some fields that are ready to be harvested. We've got uh, the potatoes and the sunflowers and a wheat field, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, corn and soybeans are still... Uh, Probably a day or two away, so that's kind of good. That's going to give us a time to get this stuff done. We all took a vote this morning, and Happy, of all people, said, let's go do some taters. So he's ready to do some taters, and we were talking to Zachary at the store, and we decided, because if you go into the potato harvesting equipment, the Grimmy Tectron, that's a that's a spendy piece of equipment there, uh, 37752 to lease. But the Ropa... The Ropa um, potato harvester is only ten thousand five hundred and sixty dollars to lease with a two meter width. So if I lease two of those, I'm still better off than the one big Tektron, and I gain one meter of um, of uh, harvesting width, you could say. So the T8 is going to go on one, and the T6 will go on the other one, and um, we'll get busy doing that. We'll get two harvesters going. Um, and then uh, get the big uh, end dump hooked up. The cows have been fed. I did get some power food to them this morning. Um, so I'm just going to drop that here in the meantime. Uh, the T6 here. I'll go take this loader off. And we can head up to the store to get the two potato um, lifters. I think Happy, whoop, Happy already got the T8 there. He's going to go. And we're going to crash into each other. That's okay. We like to do that now and then on the farm, you know. Um, see who um, moves away first is kind of the is kind of the game we play. A little chicken, a little tractor chicken. Um, but I'll drop this off here, and then I think maybe Susie Cream Cheese could take this up to the dealership. Uh, probably should have a front weight on there. I'll grab a front weight real quick, and then I'll get the semi taken up, and we'll get started on that potato field right next to Happy's Hobby Farm. Um, That'll be where we'll start there. I think the taters here at the farm are uh, ready too, but being that the uh, the harvesters are going to be up by the uh, store, or at the store, we'll just head down there and get that field done. That'd be pretty good, because then we can get some... Um... There you go, Susie Cream Cheese. You have a great day. Talk to you later. Um, like I said, get, get that potato field, then we can get working on Happy, Happy's Hobby Farm. I say Happy Hobby Farm real fast many times, and it's like a tongue twister kind of thing. Uh, but it's all good. It's all good. I'll get into the truck here and uh, get the end dump hooked up to it, and uh, we'll see you down at the uh, potato field. Once again, I came down here with some tacos by Taco Farmer, and they are closed again. Every time I come down here, uh, they are closed. Away on Giants Farm, nagging map makers. I tell you, I think that's the guy's full-time job, to be honest with you. Um, Happy is down here with the T8 and one potato harvester. He started on that end. He is going. Susie Cream Cheese should be arriving shortly with the T6 and the other Ropa harvester. And we will see how this goes. I just called down to Hollister's. Uh, potato prices right now are at 169 So that is, is pretty bad. Um, I don't know what else I can do there. Um, I don't have any facility to store potatoes. Um, I was just going to try to get rid of them all right quick. I will have to store some, though, because of the piggies. And I have yet to figure out what I'm going to do there. Um, I'm just going to uh, harvest and probably sell right away. I suppose I could uh, call the uh, potato uh, root crop storage people real quick and have them go put up something real fast. Uh, they're, they're pretty good like that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to kind of go with it at the meantime. But... As it goes, Happy is uh, going away there. Um, so far, so good. Susie Cream Cheese, like I said, is on her way down after uh, a slight uh, missed turn, but uh, she'll be here shortly. Uh, probably still getting used to the, used to the area. Uh, you know, it takes a little bit to get get the bearings of things, but that's okay. That's okay. Potato harvesting looks to be going good. So, yeah, all it's all good. All good here. Which is sun would come out. A little cloudy, but it's still uh, a... Uh, oh, boy, it's only 45 degrees outside. Well, then again, it is only 9 o'clock in the morning. But, um, yeah. Well, uh, things are good here. Things are good. 
The first semi load of Taters off Lone Oak is on its way to Hollister's. Um, not too shabby, I have to say. Uh, the price of potatoes sucks, but uh, at least I got a good truck load here. Um, Happy is still going strong. Susie Cream Cheese is still going strong. And uh, Farmer Manu is finally uh, showing up this morning. Got out of bed a little late, I think. I think he uh, probably needed some extra beauty sleep or something. But uh, he is going to show up here. So I don't know if we're going to try to do two fields. Maybe get the combine fired up, I suppose. We could try to do that. Um, I could probably uh, hop in between the potatoes and the... Um, wheat or sunflowers, whatever they decide to try to harvest. Uh, but I'm going to take this down in here to Hollister's, and let's see what we get. The price is pretty horrid, like I said, but uh, I think I'm going to get a lot of truckloads off that field, and I actually think I'm going to make money on the deal. Um, at least two truckloads should pay for the lease of the, of the harvesters, and uh, so I think I'll easily get that. Well, we'll easily get that. I already got one off the little bit that we did. Um... But uh, Happy was telling me that he was down here at Holl Hollister's checking things out and said it's quite tricky to get the end dump in here to the uh, the root crop sale. So we'll give this a shot and see how this goes. Um, could be a bit of a hassle. Could be a bit of a hassle. Um, I think I'll probably have to use my outside drone camera view. So let's see here. Let's see, which one's potatoes? One sugar beets, one's potatoes. I don't see a sign. How come I don't see a sign? I thought one was potatoes and one was sugar beets. Maybe I'm wrong. Authorized personnel only. Well, that one kind of looks like spuds to me. So we'll try this one here. We'll try this one. Um, question is, how do we... Let's see. Perhaps go around the building. Well, no, I feel like I just back up here. Well, maybe I'm going to make it around that building. Yeah, they didn't leave when they designed this place. They didn't leave you a whole heck of a lot of room to uh, maneuver the trucks in here, did they? Okay, there's a tip thing. So, uh, 70,000 liters of taters. Let's see what it goes for. Pushing me forward. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is stupid. That didn't work. I dumped a bunch of taters on the ground. There it goes. There it goes. Well, I'll have to get a loader down here and clean up my spill there a little bit. Uh, boy, that's tricky. You got to be you got to be pretty good there to get that thing back in. But I think we had um, 2,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. Yeah, so that's not too shabby. Uh, I, you know, it could be a heck of a lot better. But and then, of course, I spilled all those potatoes there. But um, not too shabby. I, I, I've been making some phone calls, inquiries on root crop storage. Because we're definitely going to need some for the pigs coming up here. So we'll have to see how that goes. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep going here. Uh, I'll probably have to go dump... Um, well, I can't dump Happy there. Where did Susie Cream Cheese go? We'll get Happy here in the next turn. And then uh, be all good. Up at the farm, Farmer Manu is here. He is getting the combine fired up and getting the... Uh, Roll crop header on there, the sunflower header. He's going to head to 38 and start combining the sunflowers. The two uh, potato harvesters are still going. Susie Cream Cheese and Happy are uh, going away there. The semi is parked down there. Uh, I am just going to hook up to the feeder wagon here. i got to make some power food and take care of the cows real quick um, before we get going. And then I'll probably get the uh, big butt out hooked up to the uh, grain cart and uh, take that up to field 38. In the meantime, like I said, just take care of the cows here just a little bit. I'm going to mix up another power food. And I kind of I completely forgot. Oh, there's a nice view of the outside of the barn. Uh, that uh, I had 5,000 liter bales. 
So the first time I did this, I kind of made a mistake in my uh, in my in my ratios. So with that said, let's see. I suppose I don't need to put straw in there. If I did 5,000 liters of hay, I could just put some silage in there because I can't put a straw bale and a hay bale in there is the problem that I'm having with this 5,000 liter bales. Um, so with that said, and it's, it's kind of a downfall because straw bales are going to be my uh, the most bales I'll have. But it's okay. We'll make we'll make do with what we got, huh? So I'll take a hay bale here. Um, I'll dump that in there. I can't use the other tractor because that's on a potato harvester at the moment. So I'll have to use these. Holy buckets! I hit the roof. That's not good. That's some bad driving there. Um, that is some. Hope I didn't tear off the uh, frame of the, the door there. Um, put this in here. There we go. So that's 5,000 liters. Now I think if I just go put some silage in there, and that'll be good. I could actually only do 5,000 liters of silage. Um, save on some silage. I'm trying to think here. I think I'll do that, and we'll see how it goes. Um, then I'll have to get the, the loader on this uh, Massey and get them cleaned out real quick. And that'll take care of the cows. I still have to figure out on a... Um, Loading wagon, because I have to go get some grass on the go. The cows need grass. As stupid as it is, uh, they still need grass. So go figure. Uh, they eat enough grass all day, but i got to feed it to them. Um, come on, load in there. There we go. So if I just put 10,000, I could put 10. I suppose I could just put six. Well, no, that screwed up too. Um, why did you stop? Oh. Now I suppose my conveyors are not reaching. Oh, heavens. Never a dull moment on the farm, I tell you. Never a dull moment. Hop into this puppy. Yeah, we'll back it up here to the pile. There we go. Oh. You gotta love it when you jump out of something and you're facing the totally wrong way than you expect it to be. Um, let's see. Back that up there. I can just extend it out. That'll be easy. There we go. Perfect. That works. Okay, hop back into here real quick. We'll get up to 10,000 and we'll just drive away. Now, that should be some pretty good power food there, I think. I think that should work. If it doesn't, um, I might yell something that I probably shouldn't. Um, I've already <laughs> had one problem with this, but it's okay. It's okay. We're getting there. Um, we're getting there. Hello, cows. Oh, boy, look at that. That cow is standing in a big pile of poo. Not good. Not good. So that should take care of that. There it goes up. Boy, it still needs a lot more. Um, that's good for now. we got harvest time going on. The sheep, they need to be taken care of, too. Um, I should have done that right away this morning, but I didn't. Um, that's okay. That's okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll probably just... I'll give them a cleaning, and we'll call that good for now. I can do that tonight after we um, quit harvesting for the night. That'll be okay. And then we'll get the big butt out here and get the uh, grain cart hooked up to that. I am at the farm here. James has shown up today. He had a little uh, little break. He kind of went for lunch at the diner there to see that uh, that hot waitress that he's been um, scouting out. How's it going today, James? Have a good lunch? Good. Good. Yeah, it was very good. Good. Good to hear that. Good to hear that. Um, we're doing potatoes and we're doing some sunflowers, James. So if you would want to, you can take the big bud tractor here, the one that you can uh, drive so well. Um, you can take that over there to field 38 there. And uh, your dad is combining sunflowers, sunflowers at the moment, and you can do that for him. That would be great, James. Okay. Thanks, James. Uh, what a good kid. You're welcome. Good kid. I used to, I wanted to shoot him at first, but now I now I kind of now I'm kind of thinking twice about that. Um, anyways, so let's see. Potato harvest is still going. I better get back to the potato field, and uh, I better get um, trucking on that. I probably have a, a truck, but you know what I should have done 
is I should probably grab the Massey. Where did I put the Massey with the bucket on it? I better drive that down to Hollister's and clean up that pile of sugar or potatoes that I dumped right in front of the uh, the place there. You would think that a place like Hollister's would have um, a skid steer or a loader, front loader, payloader or something. But they don't. They don't. So I'm going to drive my own Massey Ferguson tractor down there. James is taking the long way around to 38, apparently. That's okay. He wants to see the sights. That's good. That's good. He still has to get the lay of the land here, uh, which is okay, which is good. But anyways, I'm going to head down to Hollister's, and I'll see you there in a second. Down at the store, I'm cleaning up my mess, my pile. Ooh, careful there. Don't get the bucket stuck on that thing. Uh, this is a touchy trigger down here. This is you got you got to have that semi in there just uh, perfectly, otherwise you dump potatoes all over the ground. So that is what I am doing at the moment. I should almost leave this tractor down here in case I do it again. Um, kind of stupid though. Like I said, you got to bring your own tractor to the to the Hollister's root crop place, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. And James, he made it to field 38. He didn't hit anything. Well, at least he's not admitting he hit anything. Um, I think he'll be okay, though. I think that boy is getting the hang of it. I really do. Um, I think we're going to make him a farmer after all. Um, interestingly enough, who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? The kid who likes to climb guide wires is going to be a farmer. Should almost be an electrician, a pole, a poleman. What do they call those pole climber guys? Yep. Or maybe one of those guys that uh, that change the light bulbs and those big big radio towers, you know? Yep. I did that once as a young lad. That was interesting. That was very cool. Okay, that's all done. I can't get the rest of them. They're underneath the thing. But that's okay. Uh, that is done. So now I'm going to head back to the um, potato field here, grab that semi. That should almost be ready to go, I would think. Um, Happy and Susie Cream Cheese. They are just some potato harvesting uh, machines, I tell you. Uh, oh, there's one sitting there, so I better go find the semi real, real quick. and said, hey, listen, guys, you need to get a skid steer, a payloader, something down here, because this is getting a little ridiculous. So I, I, I gave him I gave him my opinion, and I kind of did that kind of strongly. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if they get something down here, but that's just crazy. You can't have a potato root crop business without having a skid steer or something. That's like uh, the peanut butter sandwich without the jelly, you know what I mean? A uh, ham and cheese sandwich without uh, mayo or... A sandwich without bacon you know just crazy stuff I don't know why I was doing all the food analogies there but that's just that was kind of stupid um, anyways so we're gonna try to back this in here again um, hopefully this time I do a better job it's kind of a tricky little thing you kind of got to just get it right in the right spot there so they don't come flying out of there but uh, we'll try it and see um, that don't look too bad there we'll try that Well, it's selling. It's selling. Whoa, it's moving my trailer over the place, though. Well, that's okay. Uh, there we go. The second load. Uh, that'd be 140,000 liters of spud so far. Uh, how are we doing on the cash flow? I think potatoes have probably just kind of bottomed out here, I think. Yeah, 11,000 we got for that load. Um, what is potatoes? Potatoes. 
Yeah, they're at 150 and dropping. I gotta make a few phone calls. I can't. Uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to um, to keep selling these things at bottom prices. I gotta find out a storage. I gotta find some storage solutions to my problem. Uh, maybe I'll call around. Maybe a local farmer has an old Quonset or an old barn or something that I can use. Um, but we'll do that. The sunflower harvest over there on 38 is going pretty well, from what Farmer Manu and James tell me. Um, it's not going to take very long, and that will be done. So when that gets finished up, we'll probably put the uh, the straight header on there, and we've got to change the uh, concaves in the combine, and uh, maybe go on to the canola. Uh, I'm interested to see how much canola we get, because that would be a better crop to feed the... Um, the pigs instead of sunflowers because sunflowers are kind of the second uh, most valuable crop so yeah we'll go from there I'll uh, get Susie cream cheese here real quick uh, unload her oh I, I want to unload not uh, smash into the potato harvester but that thing's only rented that's okay um, a few scratches in there and then uh, then I'll make a few phone calls on storage there goes James driving the big bud you know, that, yeah, at first I was a little bit scared about James getting that big butt, but he seems to have that under control. He uh, said on the radio just the other minute ago that uh, this big butt is awesome, man. So I don't know if, if he really enjoys it or not, but, um, you know, kids and big butt tractors, you can't go wrong there. But we'll check on them, and then I'll make a few phone calls, and uh, we'll see how that goes. With potatoes prices absolutely just in the tank, I have decided to store uh, a majority of potatoes here. So I'm going to head down to the pig farm. I think that'll be a good location to store them in that big shed down there. There you can see uh, Farmer Manu and James have moved on to the uh, wheat field there. So they have finished the sunflowers. That has gone into storage. The potato harvest continues and uh, life is good. It's, it's pretty busy. Even Techno Tony, matter of fact. Um, came by to say hi and he is uh, busy down there doing what he does who knows what he does the man of the woods uh, that's okay I think um, I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to back into there into this shed and dump these potatoes in there we'll see how this works um, it just makes sense with potato prices just absolutely garbage um, it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense just to sell them for that so We'll see how this goes. And this is a good spot to put them. I, I can't think of anything that really needs to be stored in here. Um, so we're gonna, just going to store them in here. Then I can convey them out, I suppose, um, down the road. And we can go from there. So let's see. Hopefully they don't go flying through the walls. That would not be good. Um, big shed here. Look at that. You can get the semi backed in here real nice. So let's see. Open the tarp, we'll dump them right here. Right on the ground there. Whoops. Kind of brings back memories of Oregon Springs here. Happy was all excited about that sugar beet harvest. And now I think he's excited about potato. Look at that. That worked out pretty good. Hard to believe that 70,000 liters of potatoes sitting there, but that's what it is. Okie dokie. That sounds good. Back to the field. I think both uh, both harvesters are uh, f full at the moment. Um, get back there, get them unloaded. Hopefully the wheat crop that uh, Farmer Manu and James are working on now is just a little bit better yielding uh, because of the uh, plowing and the fertilizing states that I did on that one. So hopefully that's the case. Um, yeah, we've got good stuff in storage. A lot of sunflowers now in storage, barley in storage. And then we'll have wheat in storage. Potatoes are being in storage. So um, that's pretty good. And at I think I was getting 193, if I remember right, per bale. So I'm going to bale that up and just sell the bales just for a little extra cash. So that's good. All right, off to the potato field and uh, continue the spud harvest. That'll make 70, another 70,000 liters of potatoes. So, so far in storage at the pig farm, that is 210,000 liters of potatoes in there. Having a pretty bountiful harvest, I tell you that. Um, 
there are a lot of spuds still out there. I've been kind of bouncing back and forth. You see, I've been doing some bales down here by the farm on this field here, getting the truck and uh, unloading potatoes for the two potato harvesters, Susie Cream Cheese and Happy. Um, Farmer Manu and James are over by the sheep farm doing that uh, 22, I believe, doing that field over there. How's it going over there, there, uh, Farmer Manu? Uh, 22 is now complete. 22 is good. Okay, very good. Are you going to uh, go on to the canola have, field then, uh, Farmer Manu? Uh, yes, we're headed for that next. We have over 127, almost 128,000 liters of meat in the silos. Awesome, awesome. So, yeah, so things are going pretty good here. I mean, I tell you what, um, but if you step out of the truck here, I'll show you the forecast. Look at that. Uh, the next four days of rain and then two days of snow. That is absolutely lovely. That is a, a welcoming forecast, that's for sure. Um, so it's imperative that uh, get as much harvesting done as we can. So basically after the potatoes and there's um, two small canola fields, um, one at the sheep farm and then one at the pig farm, very tiny, only take uh, under an hour to get that done. After those have been harvested, all we ha then what's left in the farm is the um, two cornfields and the, um, no, that's it. No, and the two soybean fields. Yeah, yeah, two soybean fields, two cornfields. So there is a lot of harvesting left, uh, to be honest with you, but uh, we'll make the best of it. We'll get it done, um, and it'll go on. So I'm going to unload this here. I'm going to get this back to the potato field. Um, might have to check on the bales there. I'm a little worried about doing all those bales there and uh, getting caught in the rain. Whoops, look at that. Um, so, with that said, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of been, look at that trailer. It's just going bad haywire there. That's not good. That's not good. At least they uh, built the ceiling tall enough in this building so I can tip up in it. That's kind of a good thing. Um... So yeah, so we'll continue on, and we'll see what happens here in just a little bit. Um, like I said, I got more bales today. I got potatoes to haul. Um, I will have to consider what to do. I'll have to lease a, a forage harvester for the corn. I'll have to do that. Um, but you know, I was kind of hoping to make some money off these potatoes, but the price is just absolutely terrible. That it really doesn't make sense to do that. So. Um, crop prices are not that good right th at the moment. I do have a bunch of wheat. I do have some barley, and I do have, I will have some canola. But I'm thinking for the piggies to go the uh, wheat uh, canola route. Wheat canola. Uh, what am I missing there? Wheat canola. Um, hmm. Potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. That's what I was thinking of. Wheat canola and potato route for their pig food. Um, I don't want to use the uh, high commodity commodities, the high price commodities for pig food, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. But, we'll see what happens here for a little bit. Well, the evening is upon us. The sun is uh, process of getting set. I tell you what, this has been one busy day, and uh, everybody has worked very hard. I'm going to have to take everybody out for uh, a steak and a beer, I think, after this night sets. Uh, Farmer Manu and his son James have finished the harvesting. Everything, actually, they finished everything. Um, the potato... <laughs> The never any potato harvest continues. Um, we are thankful in that. Uh, James has now taken over a, a potato harvester. Uh, Susie Cream Cheese had things to attend to. So he is driving a potato harvester. Kind of a fast learner. We actually uh, showed him a little bit. We made him read a couple books. And he has got that down as well as Happy is running potato harvester. So look at the field. Uh, we got a little patch up there left. And then um, Happy is just down there on the little finger section there finishing that up. In the meantime, we have been busy baling. Um, I have 32 bales on here. This is in excess of the, uh, the bales that we made and got stacked in the barn to complete the 100 straw bales. So there are 100 straw bales stored away. And then we did take about two stacks down to the pig farm to store there. So that's pretty good. Um, we did reach the bale limit, so I do have to go and take these bales in. And uh, my good friend, uh, Trailpad, is stopped by to help out a little bit. So he is up 
um, stacking, or not stacking, uh, making some bales up by the sheep farm. So once I sell these, I have to go up there so then he can commence because we did reach our bale limit. So we'll see what we get for this. I thought it was 193 per bale, I believe, is what I got when I sold those other ones. So, you know, every little money counts because I'm down to 91000 um, I will have some significant leasing costs once uh, midnight hits. So it's kind of the race to get the potato harvest done so those machines can be returned. I certainly don't want to be um, responsible for another day's rent on those things. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But let's just pull in here and see what I get for these. Um, well, look at that. You don't even have to drive inside. You just go outside, apparently. Um, look at that. Huh, here I am trying to back in that barn. Uh, oh, three to go. There we go. Oh, so I had... Well, I thought I had 91. There I got $200 of bail. How did, how did the bail price go up? That's kind of funny. Um, so if I had 32, that means I got... Um, well, I should have got, let's see, 200 of bail... 200 times, well, 32 would be 3,000. Should I got 6,400? No, my math, my math is screwy there. I wouldn't have got that. What, what am I doing? I apparently I should have went back to seventh grade math. I had 32 bales. I got 200 a bale. That's 6,400. How come I didn't get 6,400 dollars though? Um. Oh, I think I know why. I think I know why. One, one second. Well, I don't know what the deal with that is, but uh, I think the green barn, sale barn, screwed me over. But uh, we'll have to have a little chat with them and figure that out later. Because um, if my if my reading is right, I had ninety one thousand when I came in here, and I got two hundred dollars of bail. I had thirty two bales, and that should have been sixty four hundred dollars. And if I had 91,000, now I have 93,000. That's only 2,000. But I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to take back and look at the uh, ah, the uh, recording and figure that out because that's that's kind of that's kind of strange to me. But anyways, that's that. Now I'll get up to the sheep farm, and uh, I'll leave this. I'll leave the trailer up there because I have to get the semi back for the potato the end dump. Uh, plus, I don't have any way of loading these bales on here. Um, but I'll leave the trailer here, and I can pick those up a little bit later. Those will be sold again. I can figure out that that just bothers me. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. But anyways, two hundred dollars a bale. That's not too shabby. Uh, we're kind of closing up on the evening here. Um, I'll drop this off at the back of the farm, and uh, probably be ready to call her a night. But we'll see you in a little bit. The evening is upon us. The sun has set. Um, it is just approaching 8 o'clock at night, but I tell you what, we have had one busy day. The harvest <laughs> has uh, finished. We have got all the potatoes dug. Uh, this is the last full truckload of potatoes. Um, that would make 500,000 liters, believe it or not, down there at the pig farm in storage. We will wait for a great demand price on potatoes, and then we will sell them. Of course, we'll keep some for the piggies. Um, the wheat harvest, canola harvest, has finished. That's wrapped up. Uh, we got all the bales made and wrapped up, and they are put away. The uh, remaining bales we did sell. I did go back and had a little conversation with the green barn, and they said, yeah, yeah, I don't know, something got screwed up there. So that has been fixed, and we did have some more bales that we sold. Another, I don't know, 16 bales, something like that. So at the end of the day, we ended up with 109,827. That's not too shabby. We can live with that. Um, we will, I will expect, have maybe a couple um, uh, leasing costs overnight at midnight, but we'll have to see about that. Um, other than that, yeah, the day went well. It went well. Very thankful for everybody's help that came out to the farm today. We did um, get the machinery kind of filled up, washed, and put away. Um, I am going to take this down to the pig farm. We did have a bit of a problem with the pig farm, so tomorrow I will have to um, work on that. I'll show you that in a second. Um, I will have to come back to the farm yet tonight to take care of the, um, the cows. Susie Cream Cheese took care of the uh, sheep over at her farm, so that is taken care of. I'll just take care of the cows a little bit. 
tomorrow, uh, there probably will be more harvesting. Uh, let's see, we got corn. Corn, two fields of corn and two fields of soybeans. So our big cash crop tomorrow, uh, I'm going to do some silage harvesting for the BGA up there, that corn field. So that'll be nice, and then we'll save a bunch for the piggies, of course. Hopefully, uh, next time, the uh, construction projects at the pig farm will be uh, completed. That'll be nice. Um, other than that, things have run pretty smoothly. Pretty smooth today, today. Uh, James, he didn't even hit anything, believe it or not. Nope. Didn't hit a thing. But I'll show you this here in a little bit. I'm going to pull in here. We had a little bit of a problem. We had some uh, potato damage to our uh, barn here. I'll have to get... Uh, Try to find a uh, payloader or something. Um, but the potatoes cracked through the window, believe it or not. Yes, they broke through the window of the uh, potato barn here. Or the, this little barn down here at the pig farm. Yep, broke through the window and came leaking out. So we'll have to fix that, get that cleaned up. Um, that'll be okay. We, we, that's a minor thing. We can fix that up. But like I said, with this truckload in here, we'll have 500,000 liters of potatoes in here. I'll dump it on this end here just to be on the safe side. We did get uh, eight straw bills put down here in the potato barn for the uh, piggies in the near future. So that's pretty well. Everything went pretty well. I'm, I'm very thankful uh, that everybody showed up for work today and worked real hard. Let's see if we got to do this here. To dump this out. That'll be good. And I'm expecting tomorrow is going to be another busy, busy day, that's for sure. Um... I'm assuming, you know, I'm, I make assumptions here, and I shouldn't do that. I'm assuming that the corn and the uh, soybeans will be ready to go tomorrow. And then, uh, I'm really kind of thinking about what I'm going to do about field work. Um, I do have a couple fields to plow, the fields that we acquired. Uh, well, two of them have been done, and then we have planting to do as well. So we have a lot to do yet, a lot to do yet. Um, but one thing at a time, one thing at a time. We'll just dump those off there. I'm thinking when it comes time to sell, we'll just get some conveyors in here. Oh, trailer. Easy. Easy there, trailer. I'm crying out loud. It's terrible. Uh, just get some conveyors in here, and we can just convey these potatoes out. That'll work out pretty good. There we go. Look at that. 500,000 liters of potatoes. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Um, pretty good pretty good but as the night ends we will leave it there from Lone Oak Farm uh, big day tomorrow again so hope to see you then but thanks for stopping in thanks for joining us we really appreciate it we had a lot of fun um, if you did hit the like button don't forget hit that like button if you want and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that as well we would greatly appreciate that but um, yeah from Lone Oak Farm Farmer Min Town here have yourself a great day and keep doing the ditches so long.